So when we designed the airplanes, there are special feature that Pratt & Whitney has done to the engine to minimize the, uh, you know, to minimize the rate of cross section due to the heat of the engine. So there, there are technology in there. We have to design the airplane from all aspects, angle, in front, rear, side, you know, top, bottom. So, so there, there is a requirement that we meet that. Uh, we have done the verification. We, 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 uh, we measure the RCS of the airplane and every, everything that we measure is aligned into the specification that put out by the U.S. government. So that's why I'm surprised that, that that's hot. If you, have a chance, if you have a chance to go to Fort Worth, right, or visit an F-35 base, uh, you will see an airplane and you will see the back of an engine, but it's covered because there's some technology so behind. So it's heat protected. Well, it's it, it covered because because that that portion of the engine is classified because the technology they don't want people to see. So so there, like I say, there are things that Pratt and Whitney has done to ensure that they minimize the uh, the uh, the heat distributed by the engine to improve the rate of cross section. Back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, there's a there's a question about the engine war. Is that one one engine is better than two engine, right? So, so for the designer, it's not the question of one engine or two engine, right? It, what does the airplane need? If the airplane that you design can take on one engine, why not? When the, the more engine you have, right, the more it costs to, to maintain it. I mean, it's just, it's just more parts. So this airplane, although it's, it's big, right, and it's heavy because it has a lot of system in the airplane, uh, Fortunately, Pratt and Whitney were able to come up with an engine that's powerful enough to to provide uh, the thrust and the speed required by this airplane. Uh, if you look at the performance of the, this airplane compared to the F, you know, the, the F-16, the F-18, it is designed. It has the similar performance as the F-16 and the F-18, and uh, they have small. Well, the F-18 has two engines, right? So one engine on this airplane is equivalent to two Eurofighter or two F-18 engines. You see it, it's huge. It has a very large diameter engine.